Yo, happy. Always forget the day of the week. Monday. It is Monday. It's always usually Monday when I forget. Happy Monday night. We're back for more Donga and Rompa. Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, we are here to find out who the mole is tonight. I hope. I hope we get to find out who the mole is. A um, few things on the docket before we begin. Number one, um, somebody confirmed that the intro screen changes characters, and I see it now. It's actually Aoi right now. So it's not a spoiler. So I'm glad about that. Number Thanks two, the, sub, Omar. Um, the scene with um, the scene where they went and took a peek in the bath. Apparently, I only got to see that because I had a key item, um, the man's fantasy key item, which is cool. So if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have seen that. Apparently, he would have decided to not go peek in the girl's bath. So that's a nice thing. That's like an interesting tidbit there. I don't, so I don't know if there's more scenes like that that I might miss out on or or what um but hey it is what it is i guess and somebody else pointed out that kyoko actually caught on to the fact that we were spying and i went back and looked and she's actually looking dead right in your face um but everybody was too caught up on uh sakura being just beefed out mm -hmm. and then also toko was in the back and she slipped i didn't see that so um and another thing i wanted to um bring up too um, I seen somebody, a few people like this comment too from last video. Um, I guess somebody was, you know, didn't like the fact that I was making fun of um, what was it? What's his name? Kiyotaka or Our whatever. Are not for the faint of hearts. And you know, I'm gonna just keep it a buck, man. I'm probably gonna keep clowning him. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even gonna hold you. Yeah, sorry about it. The game doesn't take itself lightly. Um, the characters was making fun of him. We make fun of everybody. Everybody's gotten clowned on. He's no exception. It's a game. So th that's yeah. I'm and serious. So yeah. So it's a game. Um, I I'm not. I'm literally not trying to offend anybody. But if you get offended, I apologize. This might not be the stream for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just keep talking how I talk. That's just how it's gonna be. Nobody's gonna change that. If you don't like it, I do not apologize. So, um. That's that. No, seriously, no hard feelings. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm just letting you know I'm not going to be changing what I do based on anybody's opinion. I'm going to do what makes me happy. If we're having fun, it is what it is. If you're going to have fun with us, come vibe. If not, then hey, do you. So we're going to jump in. We're supposed to be finding out who this mole is. Um, Yifumi was um, beaten off with the laptop. Then the laptop got stolen. We narrowed it down. Girl did like a W move where she knew uh, she made them call out specifically if it was Kiyotaka or yes. So um, so it's not Kiyotaka. And it's not Hifumi. It's not Hifumi. It's not Kyoko. It's, it's not, not us. us. Um, was there anybody else that it couldn't have been? Mm. I don't think it's Sakura. We don't think it's Sakura. I don't know why. It's pretty much between. So we think it's between whatever. We have to add Sakura back to this. It could be Sakura, it could be Toko, it could be Byakuya, it could be um, My suspicion Aoi. is high on Byakuya, just because, like, it magically, you know, magically um, disappeared as soon as he was, like... But then you got, you know, brought up a good point that maybe they just waited until everybody knew about it before making their moves, so that that okay. way, like, more um, suspicion will go towards everyone. Yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta. Well, we gotta. We gotta see. I'm. I'm curious. So, by the way, I feel like I've solved the issue of the voice changer not saving stuff. I just had to hit the save button. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. User error. User error. What? What else would it be other than user error? I think Shira stole the laptop. You may be right. Okay. Yeah, no spoilers. Uh, Thank you for the dono, Voodoo. Spoilers get insta clap. Roshi, you looking kind of good, my boy. Sure, of course, you look good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Thank you. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall. Oh yeah, we ended like right on a good note. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... 
Oh, uh, we jumping right into the murder. Somebody gotta get clapped. It's been three days. I'm actually pretty tame when I'm in chat, Draco. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? I'm coughing. I'm sorry. Oh, it was just dots. My bad. There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me. Only five people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. Anyway, let's wait a while longer for the others. Listen, y'all just need some like hot pockets or some breakfast hot pockets or something because. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited. Oh, I guess y'all niggas um, is hungry. So it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm. Why haven't the others come? Because, I mean, Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Ifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look at, to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive? Damn, she admitted she got Ten caught lacking. Million dollars! I've prepared this graduation for what do you think? It's ten minutes it's like totally wowy wow wow, wow am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for that cash. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Thank you for the sub, J, yes, J House sub. guy. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. I can't wait to see which one of my characters hey. got killed again. <laughs> One of mine got killed too last time, remember? We can cover more grounds if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But I really hope nothing happens. Thank you for the dono. The name's JJ Roshi. I owe you some slop top for Stein's Gate, by the way. Pause. Jesus Christ. I appreciate the gesture. But no <laughs> you thanks. Appreciate the gesture? But no thanks. <laughs> so do I. Well then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Let's see what we find. Bro. Is that like a... I don't know, since yesterday, I feel like this has been gross, like... This blackboard belongs to us now, Secret Beauty.
Oh, what the? Yeah? S S someone, come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking. The third floor! There was no time to think. I was running from the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. P please M Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It it's awful! The rec room door was open! I spotted some dicks! What? And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I I'm gonna go get them! You go on ahead, Makoto! Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room. She saw the what did she see in there? Smashed to bits. By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Oh, you gotta beat oh, the F What up. the fuck happened to you? Hey, thank you for the dono, Zatoria. Hey, Roshi, would you consider playing Returnal on PS5? It's an amazing game and so challenging. I'm actually not really a fan of Returnal. I played it and I just, I just could, yeah, couldn't vibe with it. I'm sorry. It was Celeste and she was hurt. That, that's what she was screaming about? Like you couldn't, okay. Celeste, what happened? Thank you for joining the name Jojo. Thank you for oh, the gifted the name memes. Jojo. The name Thank you for JJ. The... Listen, I just quickly glanced over and I read your name wrong. I'm sorry. Thank you for the dono, Energy Master J. Happy birthday. My birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday in the chat for Energy Master J. I was a stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? Thank you for the gifted sub. The name's JJ. <laughs> the name's JJ dual wielding over here. Twitch and YouTube chat. Thank showing you for love. Thank you for the sub. Clart Clartage? Yeah, Clartage. Clartage. Ah. I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Ah. Awful help. Awful clues. That does not help me at all. Strange man. Ah. A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual. I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. Damn, she's French now. Shira, just switch it up every stream while y'all never she's know. She's Castlevanian. It's, a, it's like a like a assorted box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. <laughs> Thank you for the gift of subs, Joe Studios. <gasps> she is Castlevanian. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. This nigga hits you in the head with a hammer and you don't got no blood on you? Cap. What? Oh, the hammer that's like awkwardly placed behind you? What is this? It's some kind of... <laughs> <laughs> the hammer of dawn. Yo, what the, what the hell? Yeah, she got hit with a toy hammer, bro. It's, polo. it's like one of those... What, like the, the golfing, play? like the, yeah, the, yeah. the putt putt, yeah, like a putt putt exactly. hammer. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Coquette or whatever that game is called, or whatever hammer ball. That's what it's called tonight. <laughs> it's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. Croquet mallet. So it's, 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 yeah, I was right. Croquet. Um, <laughs> is that the Batman symbol on it? <laughs> There's some writing on the head. Justice. Hammer one? <laughs> Roshi ah. just... <laughs> that is the hammer he attacks me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. Are you doubling down on the French? Listen, you know you wanna know how I really how I really decide how Celeste's accent is gonna go? Just I literally mood, say I... I want to suck your blood in my head. And however it comes out, that's what she sounds like for that day. I narcose my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? 
Justice Hammer 1? I'm pretty sure that's... Makoto! Mm. Celeste! Yeah. Okay. I found Sakura. What? C Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand that now, that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. Damn, you fucked around and found out. That's what happened. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me. And mm. he beats my face. And, and that's when you <laughs> were attacked. <laughs> it happened after 7 a.m. Just after night time, I had it and it had ended. Damn. Good? What? As if you're level five hype train, let's go! <laughs> Gifted subs. subs. The name's the name JJ. JJ. Thank you. Juicy Justice. Juicy J, that's who that is. Oh, Juicy Justice. Thank you, Amy. So Oh, that, so if it happened just after seven o'clock, huh. then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. Ah. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. So I said, Ice JJ Fish going crazy. <laughs> Yo, something, something about you, girl. But. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> That's just because I begged and groveled for my life. So you were able to beg and grovel for your life. Me, me, uh, you had you, but you were Please! Wasn't, but you were uh, Help! Uh, help! Uh. You gotta let me talk. <laughs> so, but you didn't have no, enough. No. But she didn't have enough time to see who this person was. You did. Thank you for the. Thank the, you for the gifted men's. The name's JJ. J, the na Yo, W's in both chats for the name JJ tonight. Popping. <laughs> you did. As for me, I told him I would do anything if he spared me. Damn. I offered to lick his butt. Yeah. Whatever what? it took. Okay. Just he was gonna take it to the next level. Just, booty. just, just read it. I did. I read the whole thing. You offered to lick his boots, whatever it I took. Offered to lick his booty, whatever it I took. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. <laughs> exactly. Indeed. <laughs> it is a necessary skill for survival. What happened to the scratches on her face? They gone? Yeah. The makeup. She smeared it some more. Anyway. The important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean, a serious problem? When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Ifumi. Ifumi? Yeah. I ain't buying it. After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? Oh, he, you mean he took Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him, then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Why are they so calm? Did anything stand out? Well... Rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be... Faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down. His digital camera. Oh, he took a picture. You don't mean... Actually, 
I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it! Okay. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. <laughs> is that Mega Man? Is that a Transformer? <laughs> okay, I was literally about to say, out of uh, <laughs> Mega Man. <laughs> Thanks for the sub knees, too. <laughs> I'm like, Mega Man, please, Shira, <laughs> redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So instead of I'm saying kidding? a strange man, she couldn't just say a nigga in a robot costume. That. Okay, sure. It's clearly fucking obvious who that is. <laughs> who is this? The only person that can fit in that is Sakura. Look how big that is. What if it? Okay. What if they're on stilts? Huh? What? Well, you're definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Huh? Is that a robot costume? Okay. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual. Yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Tafumi away? Okay. And I took this right after being attacked. So he let you catch him in 4K? <laughs> Pretty much. In other words, a full hour ago. So your legs was broken? You couldn't go downstairs? She she was passed out. She said oh. she was knocked out for an oh, hour. okay. I missed that, sorry. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no. There is much I don't understand. But... The point is, someone dressed like that dragged the Fumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second! This is bad! We have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When they left the red room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor? That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Somebody said that Sakura was in the cafeteria with y'all in the morning, so she's got the alibi. But didn't we go into the cafeteria around 8 a.m.? Yeah. If she got knocked out around 7 a.m., which was an hour before everybody woke up, and she was knocked out for an hour, like, I mean, that that's plenty of time to knock somebody the fuck out and then... Go to the cafeteria. I read that. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the no, strange man did head to the we second floor... We went there floor. at 7 and waited until 8. Oh, waited okay, 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 okay. Whoops! Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you two. What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? What? what, 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 what? Yeah! You guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You've got to be kidding! Nope, nope, sure haven't! Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We came here together! Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. Uh, anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hifumi! Kyoko! If you can hear me, say something! Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm -hmm. Oh! Did you hear something? Hmm. 
Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library... Beat up too. It hurts! It hurts! We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um. Bust I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> it's super bad though. Look at all the blood! What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> What guy? <laughs> Robo Justice hurt. That's what I decided to call him just now. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, there goes the fucking hammer again. So, so this guy just has multiple hammers. Wait a minute. Hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. Cl but click this on. one is. Click on Hibumi again. Justice Hammer 2? I'm seeing some comments. I gotta. I gotta and on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. Um, there's a room. The. The room behind the. Um. Sure, the room behind the. The air purifier room had a bunch of hammers on the wall. So, yes, it did. So these are the hammers from there, and then somebody just painted Where them all, all the kinds of different were. colors. Yeah. Oh. He attacked me with that hammer. He bumped me right on the head with it. Well, a hammer that big? Dude. I'm surprised you're still okay. Damn, oh, you stole my thunder. I was going to do it. <laughs> I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Somebody said, hey. Somebody said coochie pupils on the phone. That's why I want to see his eyes. <laughs> protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? He's throwing protein. Mm -hmm. I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't, it isn't just you? <laughs> Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Yo, Biak is like, what the fuck is going on here, bro? This is the one that attacked Celeste and Hifumi. <laughs> Isn't that right, Hifumi? <laughs> yes, yes, that's unforgivable. I'm shrimp. Robo Justice. It can't be! Robo Justice, huh? Damn! This just keeps getting stranger. You <laughs> just did it. Oh. oh. It's him! <laughs> A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting! moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. There's a nurse here? Whatever, yeah, they said that there's a nurse here. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Because yeah. they're supposed to live here forever, there has to be somebody to treat them when they're sick. Mm. You're right! Let's go! Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, everyone! We moved Ifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. There's no nurse. They're doing mm. it themselves. How you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? Yes. Um. Uh, uh, I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. My dick, that is. Yep. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. 
So then... Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose... Y yeah, good idea. Well then... The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The justice animals seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. I hope they're gonna get to the last one and just bust First somebody in their shit. So in other words. If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Um, well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter, alter Ego ahead of everyone else. Can't read tonight. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed around, at around seven this morning. Wow. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer! That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Mm, the timeline not adding up. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together and Kyoko was still with us. Yep. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. Convenient. Yes! Hmm. This black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night! What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was speaking! And so that leaves Kiyotaka. Anyway, so that means Byakuya and Toko were together at the time. Meaning they also have alibis. And the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hukumi were attacked are... The only two we haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Thank you, Cannon. Um... <sighs> oh, yeah. She was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. <sighs> Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. But hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words... I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying... Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible! What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Hmm. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? I don't know, bitch. Maybe so they don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. What to do? What to do? So, what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of. Even here. Rogue Rain had a point. Byakuya's talking about how she's eager to look at dead bodies when he was the one that strung up to Hero. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow! Something moving around at the top of the stairs! Huh? Really? Summertime rendering PTSD. Uh! Up on the second floor then? You bastard! You won't get away from me! 
justice. We all shot toward the stairs. He must be around here somewhere. A split up and corner him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay. But what should we yell? Just a second. Anything. It doesn't matter. So then. Then is ha. Okay. What are you saying? Ha or doya or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. I think this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> <laughs> doya. I have never heard such a reaction. Why are you playing games? Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robot, where you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Oh. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> What are we gonna yell? Pineapples! Let's yell pineapples. Oh, the name JJ again, gifting memberships on yes, YouTube. Thank you for the gifted mem. Maybe make sure you click allow when you see the message pop up so you can get a gifted membership on YouTube. Don't miss out. recommend Draco she probably bite it off lockers well I would expect to see that it ain't normal pool strange cry that had to be celeste it came from the floor above she's on the third floor i sprinted up to the third floor everyone over here everyone everyone who heard the scream had come running just a second celeste what's wrong what that was a rather intense scream for someone like you <laughs> i saw him the strange costumes man! He ran up as soon as I screamed! I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared! He must be down this hall! Come on, let's go! <laughs> what is it now? Oh, she just. Ew! Ew? <laughs> what are you sneezing out? Oh, that's the other one. Yes, the other one. Huh? 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 Whoa, it's really true. <laughs> but that doesn't matter right now. No! That's a Hume. Yeah, that's a Hume. Huh? huh? What was that? <laughs> that came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. This Thanks is bad. Gift, Come on, we have JJ. to go back. Bro. These niggas are playing games. Between her and Hifumi, yes. they're, they're playing around. What about the suspect? We've gone to all this trouble to capture him, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split up into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then? Very well. Then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and the Akia. So then... We'll handle it. Just go take care of the fool. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. Hina, Hina. Just a second! He's in the nurse's office! Let's go! I can't wait to waste my motherfucking time and go to this nervous office and this nigga's not in there. <laughs> we stormed into the nurse's office and what greeted us was... A world of dripping crimson.
Oh. Yes, Damn. finally. Oh, you don't have to do his voice no more. He's dead. <laughs> Everything was covered in pink. And the center of all this pink was... Hifumi? No! <gasps> what? Ah! what it, it looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered! No way! W's in the chat. <laughs> this is M murdered. You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? This one's gonna throw me for a loop because we were all together. Us, <laughs> Byakuya, Sakura, Hina, Celeste, we was all together. Kyoko, we have no idea where she went. And we have not seen Kiyotaka, but I feel like that's too simple. Thank you for the sub, Marsha TX. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Thanks for the sub, Marsha. I'm Marshall. What the? Oh, God. That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement? When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... Hmm. It must mean, if only... Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about um Weed Man. He just he doesn't really talk much throughout the whole game, so he kinda like fades into the back for me. And look at that. <laughs> oh my god. It could be him. Remember how he was trying to hustle us for money? When he was trying to read our yes. future? Okay. Okay, there's a prime suspect. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. The Justice Hammer. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. And it's even bigger than the other two. One strike from that, and you are finished. Then the killer. There can be no doubt, a suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi calls him. The culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But, wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they, like, teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now, we have to tell the others. You're right. So then... Then shall we go? <sighs> Pina, snap out of it. Huh? Huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. S sorry! I'm not sure I can move right now. I I I'm feeling kinda... Hmm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. i leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but... I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? He 
He ran off going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway? Okay, this makes sense. Back into the room where I said the hammers were. The hammers of dawn. Yeah, see the doors open? As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there? In the back? That presence? This presence. I leapt through the doorway, but when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. No! Oh shit, double homicide. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we get, oh, we getting people up out of here. Bro. Bro. So there. someone that had a vendetta against both of them punching the laptop or being obsessed with oh, the laptop. Oh yeah, they were the two that were obsessed with the laptop. I mean, but I feel no, you know what? It's too obvious. It feels like it's to pin Okay, somebody set it up to pin it on Kyoko because she set the laptop up to stop them and then they kidnapped her. And put her somewhere so it makes it seem like, oh, where have you been? Yeah. There in a pool of his own blood was Taka dead. <laughs> Ifumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body, discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. The true nightmare is this reality, the reality I have to face every day. But still. Why is this happening? Okay, let's, okay. What, what? Toko? Don't tell me. Toko too? Hmm. Relax, she just passed out oh, when yeah, she saw blood. the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? Hmm. We've tried everything to get her to wake up. But no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like he said. I should just leave her alone for now. Taka. Damn it! Why did this happen? Oh, fuck. Another hammer. Now it's just this hammer four. And it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However, but why is it just this hammer for? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer 1, then Hifumi was hit with Justice Hammer 2. But this time it was Justice Hammer 4. What happened to oh, number 3? Ah! Taka. What? Taka's right there. Oh, yeah, Taka's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is it Oh! Um, no, it's not red. What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. 
Hifumi's dead too. You meant to say Hifumi when you. When, yes. Yes. Is, yes. <laughs> what? What? Hey! Hifumi's been killed? Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Well, we better. Then we better go check it out. Dead. Of course. Come on. So Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. Damn, they just abandoned that nigga's body. They said, fuck you, Hifumi's more important, bruh. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Oh. Ah. Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's Five, office? Four, <laughs> Something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard. Hifumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. His big ass body? Disappeared? <laughs> Hifumi's body has disappeared! Cap. What? What what did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey! Everyone, back to the nurse's office. You idiot, somebody stay with Taka's body, because then that's going to disappear. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Ifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But we were only gone for like a minute. And then, when we got back... Indeed. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. I have no idea what to think this case. This is ridiculous. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Oh, we're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys died. <clears throat> Something weird happened. Why? When we found Taka's body, why wasn't there an announcement? When three or more people find a body, there's supposed to be an announcement. That nigga's not dead. Every time three or more people find a body, there's an automatic announcement. Right. Because when we found Hifumi, Hifumi's for sure dead. Taka's not dead. He's playing dead. Interesting. Okay. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First, there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken? This is unnatural. What do you mean? Two murders? Hina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It, it can't be! Taka too? It, no! Sorry, she, I, I thought it was a, a mistake, yeah. Hina. Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. Then who might the next target be? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forget. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well... You left her at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious. Damn! Wait, so you knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? Thank you for the sub, Sebify. <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Thanks for bastard! Oh, you, you bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone, stop fighting! Right now, we need to hurry back! Huh? I can't take this 
anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Byakuya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> I think sh I think she's gonna be dead now and his body's gonna be gone. Hang on, let's see. Let's see. We'll see. We shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Toko! Yep. Well, thank God you're okay. Well, she's alive. But right away I noticed that there was something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. Th this is... This can't be happening. Uh, Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before. And what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? What? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has the hidden body has hidden the body. But why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Okay. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. Huh? We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Hmm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well, uh, um... Hmm. When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone was here together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. H hold on a second! Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. Hmm. You seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are... in love? That's not it at all. That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none, none other than... Hero. Hmm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. That because it's oh. a max of two per person. That's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder if they were to break that rule. Unless somebody else decided to slap somebody. I'd miss ya! Miss ya without a second thought! Vince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish, like shrimp or crab? Hmm. Random facts. Indeed. Let's see. So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies? Two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? Huh? Oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> Whatever, we need to find those bodies or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Very well. Then let us split up and begin searching. <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. 
Because, I mean, I, I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... Tina. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Uh, okay. Thank you. Hmm. No need to thank you. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Byakuya left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Okay. Here's the thing, right? Taka's body, when it was gone, there was a blood... There was like, okay, there was a difference. It looked like he was dragged away, so I don't know if somebody knocked him out to make everybody think he was dead. Or if he's just playing dead. Let's see. I want to go examine that real quick. Yeah, you see it? It's like... Mm -hmm. That's a lot of blood, though. But it's like so odd. The blood stain just kind of comes and then just stops. And then Hifumi's big ass, he didn't just, he didn't leak on the way out. Okay, we're gonna find a secret room in here or something. All right, where do you think we should look? Oh, this is where the hammer was, back here. Mm -hmm. Yep, back behind the art room. Yep. Huh? The door must be locked. Probably there. Damn. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Yeah, I say same. Yeah. Where could two dead bodies have disappeared to? And for those wondering, the question was our favorite spring anime that we have watched so far. JP and good luck. Thank you for the raid, sincerely, and Usagi. Yes, thank you for the raid. Big W. W's in the chat for sincerely, Usagi. Thank you very much for the raid. Come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean. Indeed. I found them. The Fumi and Taka's bodies had both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository. Okay. Bro. Where's the repository at? Oh, okay. It's the damn room that we were trying to get into. Of yeah, course, the, the one that was the one that was locked. There. Yep, I said they were in there. But who the fuck had the key? It was locked. The That's the first question, nigga. Who had the key, they bro? It from the inside. Are the bodies here somewhere? Hmm. I would have to wonder where they could have been hidden. Up ahead is the repository. The door now turned. I guess it's unlocked. But I have no choice but to go inside. Damn, suspicion meter rising? Right. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw... A 
Parker got a big old hole in his head. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then, I heard the announcement for a second time. A body has been discovered! Body discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Hmm. Sure. Uh, he said body singular. Well, well, because it already went off when we found him fool me. But that's so weird. It didn't. Who was in the? Maybe because when he first discovered it, he was by himself. No, 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 no. When we walked in there, it was Sakura. It was Byakuya and Toko was in the room and she was on the floor and we walked in there. So he was alive and then he was working with somebody and then they clapped this nigga. Or he was knocked out and then they decided to kill him. That's possible. Okay. Alright, this is good. This is juicy. Or he and bled so out. Handed over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now make sure to investigate with all of your mental might to prepare for the class trial. See ya later. Hmm. All right, here we go. Well then, now that we found the bodies, all that's left to uncover is the culprit. What the heck? Uh, uh, hold on. How can you be so so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! Damn, you, this sounds familiar. Awful! <laughs> this is all just too awful! Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's <laughs> lifeless body. Who, who would do this? Ew. Why? Why? Large, wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks, and suddenly he sprang to life. Yeah? If this was some kind of... Wow. <laughs> am, I, am I writing the game? If this was some kind of world of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. What? This wasn't. <sighs> well, looks like you're back to reading. He's alive again? Why? Where am I? Cold. So cold. I'm. Is winter coming? He's yes, Jon Snow. I'm. No. I'm so confused because I, I said it as a joke, then they said it as a joke, and then it really happened. They said sad Naruto music needed. Oh wait, no, no, we can't because it's voice acted. Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before. Say who did it? I met oh, you. Oh, he, he was in a robot oh. costume, never mind. You gotta. You gotta. 
I'm dead. I met you all. See, they all know each other. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. This uh, guy is mad suspicious. The light. It's reaching out to me. Like the tail of a comet. <laughs> hey, Fumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Robo Man. Who tried to kill you? It was. It, it was it Robo was, Justice. It, it was. Uh, killed right. me? That's right. I remember. I'm about to be super their pissed name. off. Their name. <laughs> Yasu. Bro. Yeah, bro? Oh, His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Where's Hero? Absolute, undeniable death. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. Hmm. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your meats. Damn. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return, just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. <laughs> now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps Yasuhiro Hagakure. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi. And then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? What is no, this? I'm not buying it. If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends! That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. <sighs> Although, this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes. It does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but, go, but to go through with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it! Okay. First, I'd better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. Actually, they didn't. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuno file could, anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well, there's something else that's bothering you. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? <laughs> an accomplice? <sighs> what are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Don't be rude! I'm here to answer your question! What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I hope he doesn't spoil it. I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial! Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become nope. blackened? So you ask, 
And so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So are you saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. It would have struck the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, Phew. only one black end can graduate, and a couple gets nothing! So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who that one black end is that did the killing, right? Just like normal? Well... Opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is Extreme! The one true blacken who devised the murder plot and put it into action. So, Hero was an accomplice. Okay, I think I didn't figure this damn trial out already. But you said the true blacken. The true blacken? So just one person? The true black in is Kiyotaka. Well now. Poor Celeste. That's enough for explaining, Fian. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the black end. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one black end. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't say any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. You may be right. Um... If that's true then... Kyoko, where are you? Thanks for Thank you for joining the name, the name JJ. JJ. <clears throat> oh, gifted. However... As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. But for the time being, I suppose it can start to pursue further information. So, um... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect, just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. What? Oh, shit. What? I'm offended! Oh. You, when did you... <laughs> I've been looking all over for you, master! When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found! You SOB! Anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl! Huh? Milk sack? You gotta be kidding! Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. What? What? what, what? So what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know! Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard her Fumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move her Fumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing! What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see... On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then... Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Nope. Mm. Is there every chance we get? Sure, I'd totally be useless on the investigation. Anyway... It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. Okay, let's talk. <clears throat> I think Kiyotaka is the one true black end because Monokuma said that we have to figure out who actually came up with the plot. Kiyotaka's been depressed, and when he died, he died with his black hair, not his white hair, so he was back to his normal self. And he's been depressed about um he's been depressed about Mondo dying. 
like he's been like just completely and utterly clapped. So you think he'll try to put the plan into motion? I think he wanted to take himself out and just figured like he figured out the loophole and got somebody to help him. And Hero executed it? Yeah. Like maybe Kiyotaka is the one that did it first and then um I don't know. But I do feel like Kiyotaka is the one true black in. I don't see them taking out three characters in one chapter. Cause then we'd have to find out who did it and then they would have to die too. So I think the two that are dead are the only ones that are gonna die. We'll see. Interesting theory. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Monokuma file number three has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Yeah, obviously the hammers that are missing. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets? Could the justice hammers have been re have been designed using these as a model? Duh. Either way, all the hammers here have obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all. And it's... wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless hammer has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. <clears throat> Taka, it never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from the blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. <clears throat> Ifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. I mean, how on earth was the killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here, the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third. Hey. And all without anyone noticing it. How the fuck? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was also a blow to the head. Probably from Justice Hammer 3, which is laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about the Fumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. That's it! His glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now, they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? Like, who would do that? And why? Oh, shit. So... No. No, 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 no. Oh, God, I'm confused. And the hammer was wet. It means they washed off the hammer, and they washed off his glasses. So... But he washed off his glasses, because he needed to see, because he wasn't dead in the nurse's office. So he's part of it. And then he moved around and then actually got clapped. Because I was going to say, um, <clears throat> I just find it too coincidental that those two were the main ones obsessed about the laptop. You had a theory that someone was trying to set them up for the whole, like, stealing the laptop situation, but Kyoko had a failsafe for that, which clapped that whole, like, laptop uh, plan uh -huh. and then these two so they came up with an alternate plan for these two to get clapped since the whole laptop thing failed and since and then the alternative is you know obviously that these two were completely upset about the laptop going missing so also also, proof that he wasn't dead 
Look at his hair. His hair, when we found him in the nurse's office, he still had the spike. His hair now is compressed because he literally got bashed in the head with the hammer. So he died in here. He actually died in here. But my question is, why did... I don't think that it's fair that Monokuma set off the alarm if he wasn't really dead. See, this is where it gets confusing. <clears throat> Alright. Let's just keep it moving before we get stuck here speculating. So, um... Hey, um, Makoto, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm. After him, Fumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, he split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked? Hmm. And we came and we came here as soon as the search started. So there's no way someone could have beat us here. But you know. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. You know what? You know what? What if we're thinking about it backwards? What if we're thinking about it backwards? I said I called out immediately that when we went to go um Kiyotaka. When we went to that room, he I was like, why didn't Monokuma say anything? And then this nigga was alive. But if we split up, it's possible because I remember, oh, remember I called out all three of them was in there. Maybe the announcement that we heard wasn't for um, Hifumi's body. It, it could have been for Taka's body when they when they found it because they could have found it at the same exact time. They did find them at the same exact time. And then that's what threw me off or threw us off. So that's also a possibility there. And then when did he when did he call out the announcement again? With, After we were in the repository. So the second announcement came when we walked in there and both bodies was found? Yes, I believe so. Or did it happen when we found his... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But then he wasn't even dead yet because he came back to life. Yeah. I'm confused, man. I don't know. All right. We'll get there. There are many aspects to the incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that, it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then... Would you like my help? Yeah, let's look back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Ina, Kyoko, Yu, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Mm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Mm. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Mm. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. This is wild suspicious. I think Celeste is in on it. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Ifumi away. Huh. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costume to save it. We found an injured Ifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. A 
based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor. She had that. She was the where one we who split had up and began searching. Chase. Then, right after that, hmm. Celeste screamed. This time, she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. And then... At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Tina, and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, Yubiaki and Toko pursued the suspect up on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office... Found in his corpse, which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However, but at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment. Ah, there it is at the same time. Mm -hmm. Which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you and Biakia that Hifumi had been killed, right? Then you, me, and Biakia all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko, who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who had just arrived to tell us something very unusual. <clears throat> I hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Hmm. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. Okay, a new theory. Celeste could have been working with Hifumi. So, she Hifumi came up- Hifumi tried to- Hifumi killed Taka. She, Celeste, took AoE to the bathroom, she felt like, hey, I gotta go pee, you wanna accompany me? And then left the room so that Hifumi could leave because he wasn't dead. And then Hifumi went back upstairs, somehow got around everybody and moved the body and then moved the body into the repository. All right, all right, let me just, let me remember we had abandoned, okay. This time, Taka's body had disappeared. So from there, we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some time... So and Les I, told us she found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. And then how was the repository unlocked? I thought it was Biakia that told us he found the bodies. Well, Biakia told us he found the bodies. And there we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. Nobody it was locked and nobody. Then. But and that brings us up to now. However, looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. We're gonna have to remember who was with who and at what time. And the game will remind us. It'll like. Yakia, do you think Hero really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died, yeah, he said Hiro's name. So in other words... Then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it... Why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb, but do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Also... Also... 
It was definitely Celeste was involved. Remember, he fooled me like Celeste. Remember when she had him get tea, and he was like mm -hmm. bugging out, like, like he was like, she he probably was looked. A simp for her. Yeah, but you can't say that word on Twitch. Oh. You'll get clapped. Oh, but oh, sorry. I was trying not to say it. But yes, like, okay, all right, things are coming together. Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, oh, why sorry, did the, Thank you. Why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. And he wanted to protect... He died, and he wanted to protect Celeste, so he threw somebody else under the bus. Because Tsufumi's been... Yasuhiro's been disrespecting him a lot on the low. Two people? What? What? Because all the rule says is, if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on. Perhaps. I see. So that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if, as if we're friends. Huh? What's with the attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. <laughs> His mysterious words hung in the it air. Froze for a second, they had to refresh. As he left the repository. What? They, they thought the stream got clapped after I said it because it all froze for a second. Now they're uh, all saying to just um refresh. He talked as if he'd figure something out. But if he did, wouldn't it have killed him to tell me what it was? Huh? But oh, wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Ah. That's how they got Taka's body from here to there. And look at the wheel. There's a blood stain on it. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? That a, that a woman did it because they couldn't move him or pick him up? Yep. Based on this game's logic, I'm not trying to say women are weak or anything, but based on this game's logic. Repository dolly has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Right. I think that's everything. So we can dip. Yeah. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from in the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from inside the repository. Which makes me wonder. Nina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing body. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from inside the repository. In other words, Somebody was already in there. when he'd have checked it, someone had already gone yep. in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's in lockdown. But Hina claims there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... Repository door has been... Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Did they leave the room? Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found, then the equipment room where Taka was found. Is there like a secret door in here? Okay, sure, tell me what you're thinking. Cause Celeste couldn't have been in here because Okay, there's a question that I need the answer to. And that's, did the door mysteriously open or did Hina and um, Sakura leave and then it opened when they left? Well, if Celeste found out, then they had to have... Okay, you know what? Because they went they went to the bathroom That was way while beforehand. it was locked, right? No, they went to the bathroom 
when we first found Hifumi's body and then they mysteriously went to the bathroom and came back and his body was gone from the nurse's office because his ass got up and went about his business. Oh yeah, let's go back. Listen, I've given up on finding Kyoko and, and Yasuhiro. Or Hiro. Because the thing is, oh, what if that's a possibility? What if. What if Hiro was in the closet the whole time? Because she said nobody could have possibly gotten there before them. So what if he was, was just in the closet the whole time? Yeah, and then you mean Hifumi? If, yeah. Yes, the hero, the one that committed the murder, the one that Hifumi said killed, like killed him. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't believe him, right? Sure, don't tell me you believe him. He's lying. I know he's lying, but what if there's a possibility that he's not lying? Because where is Hero now? We don't know. Where's Kyoko now? Maybe it was Kyoko that did it. That's what I'm saying. He was lying to protect Celeste because he's he's head over heels for her. But all I'm saying is. Just for a second, what if Hero was in the closet the whole time, assisting or whatever, plotting? Well, then that would make three accomplices. That's too much. We already know Hifumi was in on it because he was not dead in the nurse's office. That's one person. So Les is super suspect because. But what if Hifumi wasn't in on it? What if he got a, what if they attempted to kill him? He didn't die, so he tried to wash off his glasses and his hair and stuff so he could see. And then he just ran into the closet? He ran into the repository? And locked the door from the and inside? Maybe at that point Hero whacked him when, okay. he, when he tried to run into the closet. Uh, no, that I don't like that theory. Personally. I don't think Hero has anything to do with it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Huh? It's tart. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Yep, nigga. All right, you know what? There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. Okay, that's what it was when I said like he was dragged through here. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Did that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. What? 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 I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. What? Yeah, you don't got. You, don't got, you have nothing useful to say to me. To the nurse's office. Well, there's, that's not an objective. We're not going to find her no matter where we look. We have to go to the nurse's office. Because he mentioned the equipment room. He mentioned the um, repository. And then the nurse's office. And then something new is going to pop up. And then we're going to have to go there too. Um, hmm. This case, this is a really good case because there's a lot of moving pieces, right? All right, let's see what we can find in here. Okay, I'm talking to you last because I feel like you got something to do with this shit. 
A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. Hmm. It doesn't help me though. I'm not a vampire. This man have fake blood all over him. Justice Hammer 3, the one that was used to kill Ifumi. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Oh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh! Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need something to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. This nigga cleaned his glasses and then do that shit. He's like, oh man, I have to go! Oh, I have to, I have to hurry up to the repository! And then, ran, and then ran off. Maybe that's why his body was all sweaty from being tired running up the stairs. Okay. You know what? I'm not mad at Byakuya, you know? When Byakuya finds stuff out, he doesn't say nothing to nobody. Yeah. Because he doesn't know if you're the killer. Why would I tell you what I know? Yeah, the two smartest people in the game. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Hmm. What's about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see... How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Tina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. Uh, okay, there we go. And when you got back, the body was gone? Hmm... He could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Tina said the same thing. So then, the killer was able to get in and move the Fumi's body in that short amount no, of time? Indeed. Up. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as a Fumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Okay. Alright, bitch. I, I got your number. Listen. You got her up out of there. Hm. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? Hm. I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this game of ours very interesting indeed. But, um... Hm. You should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> hmm. Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you a damn thing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Worm. In the dining hall. Um, so he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? Okay. And like, it makes sense because Celeste and Hifumi and 
talk of, none of them came to the to the dining hall. Like, and they stalled us out there. Hero, I guess, they stalled us out there because nobody ever came. And more than an hour went by before we started to look for them. And then that's when Celeste was quote unquote attacked. And Fumi was quote unquote attacked. They're trying to set Hero up for the murder. The door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Yakia did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Oh, uh, this case is so good. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something. And... Some things made out of... It looks like cardboard, plastic, and... Blaster? Is this... Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room? But wait... These blueprints... Something about them bothers me. That's not his handwriting. He has perfect penmanship. He got set up. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. This lame ass nigga here fooled me, bro. That's why your ass got bad. It's a normal bed, pretty much like just like the one in my room. check the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? Even doo -doo went all over the floor. I'm that ass be shitting though. Is that everything in here? Is that... Is that on the table? I can't. No, that's the fucking door. Yeah, that's it. That's everything. Oh, prepare for somebody to encounter us outside. Ah! Yep. Makoto! Big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second! Robo Justice showed up too! Robo Justice? Hmm. It's Hero wearing the costume! Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool, on the second floor! To think Hiro and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Yeah, nigga? Where have you been? <laughs> Kyoko! And... I mean... Man, I've had the worst day! Hero? Right. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I picked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something? What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden, without a trace. Wow. Hero was feed my cheeks in. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey, 
More importantly... She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the Mastermind? Or... First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh... Well, I mean... I have no idea. One second I was asleep. I don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, um... Let me out I don't know here. what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. It would seem... There's a deep... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. Man, they put this nigga in a suitcase? We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> oh, free at last! Hmm. Free at last, free at last! Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then... What's the point? Nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The real prints were in your room as well. We didn't tell nobody that. We just got yeah, here. We, didn't. we were literally in his room. Byakia told us to go check his room. But we didn't say anything about the blueprints being in his room. Yeah, we didn't. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. Hmm. That's true. I saw also, the I blueprints said, myself. Said, this is known information. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone. That's terrible. Was hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Damn, gag him. Just the worst. Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. <laughs> to tie me up? Oh, hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Uh, um... Attacking? Blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costumed attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will! Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh! See? Look! Like a fucking clown. See how loose it is? Damn, she's loose. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. He was the one wearing it, but like... But he, okay, said that, so he said that he fell asleep and then he woke up and he was in it. Maybe they put the they put him in this. They definitely put him in it, and he, then they took a H Hifumi like wrapped him around himself. Yeah, but so they put him on the, take the picture. they put him on the rolling cart because it can't bend at uh, the waist. Yeah, and they've been rolling him around in it. Okay. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. Ah. <sighs> well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh. 
Um... N no see? It's cause you're a girl! If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Uh, okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See? I told you it was impossible! <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Th then, there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but... But fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? You're the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Which is how we know it was him. <laughs> what? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Did someone, like, tell me? Is there a... Him, his skill is handiwork. That's what I went to go double check. And that was his handwriting. Fuck this guy. There's a big locker near the pool. That's what say. I saw that too, hmm. Carol. It's looking more and more like it really was a setup. Oh! I certainly did not expect Hero and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Hmm. But where has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have no idea. Then perhaps. Perhaps she really is working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? But. <laughs> you are quite protective of her, yes? That's because she's helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. Yeah, you're trying to instill doubt? Fuck you. You're scamming. Hmm. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't she's think trying she's to figure out the laptop I better leave her alone. She said she was checking on something and said she couldn't say it. Uh, um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? what? Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Wait. I did not. Huh? Wait. Hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then... You may as well tell us, then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% right. Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please! Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just you did it, okay? Uh, um... I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so oh, that... I know, that note. Note? Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. <sighs> 
but the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, and then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Oh, really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Oh. Even if that's true, you must be on you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Yeah, you have to do for yourself. Well after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Yeah! yeah they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Oh, I still don't buy it. Don't be mean! Well you should buy it. Just a second! Okay, then show us that no! Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket. No way! Looks like I lost it. Oh, yeah, sure. Please! Oh, please! You gotta believe me! I wouldn't hurt a fly! <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the notes? I have no particular issue with what you claim. But if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh -huh. What the heck? For serious? <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us! Hero! Uh -huh. No, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. Okay, I'm gagged. I'm bound. <laughs> If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? What? Oh, you're right! I need to look for that second suit and that note! Feet don't fail me now! I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko or Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one. So I need to make up... I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping. But can you promise me something? Later, when we have time. Will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. Why right, the fuck you, bitch? To reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So, Lakoto, first, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway... Anyway, we have to hurry. Before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay then. Show me where the bodies are. They're in... the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Alright. Off to the repository. This shit is so weird, man. Are we on the third floor? Yes. Where's that big door that says art? No. This is the second floor. Oh, 
Hifumi, and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seems to be rigid, but only for a moment. So then... Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding at the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. But that was some kind of major discovery, bitch. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she actually... Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. I see. Makoto, I found something. <laughs> you did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? Whew. Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Yeah. No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? So then. That was a weird comment. What? That you really dislike people that much? Even though he's such, like, a people helper? She's just saying he don't pay attention to shit. It was probably sarcasm. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? So that tells us the time of the murder. It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6? That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Taka's irritated voice out. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. However... Hmm, that's interesting. That means he was killed way... Like, while we first. were in the dining hall. Like, before like that. way before we were in the dining hall. Yeah. And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. Damn. You're right! There's something white in there. Damn. Makoto. Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... Rhythm Mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Uh, okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice cold hand was really enough to cause my heart to stop beating. Thank you for the dono, Jay. Love y'all. Keep up the good work. We Thank love you, you so too. Much. We love you too. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper? Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just, just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then... Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues of his own. So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper? That's right. Hifumi had it hidden on him. Yeah, them niggas took a real, they took a, pi a picture of a real piece of paper and put it in the game. Hidden? Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants. Yeah. So I can only assume he hid it on purpose, you see? In his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Does she have like a foot fetish? What? Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto. Open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed on his pants, it's like... It better be important, Ifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Onokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So... That sounds very familiar. That's it! It's the same thing Hiro said. And he was telling us the truth. However... 
Although, it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um... So he got the same note, but just a different time. The time is different. Hero told us that his note set to meet at 1 a.m. But the note... But the note director Fumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. Duh. Whoever signed it. Sure, we just pulled the piece of paper out of Taka's hand. Yeah. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped. Um, um could you maybe explain it a little bit more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been pushing that scrap of paper so tightly? I, I have no idea. So then. But if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it, what if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. If we weren't thinking about them. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Up. Time for trial or nighttime? Now it's trial time. Are you excited? Yep. Are you pumped? It's time for the <clears throat> class trial to begin! Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! It would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Uh, okay. So, they're wondering if we're stopping here or we're starting the trial and then um, not finishing the trial. Can I save mid-trial, though? Yes, you can save mid-trial. Okay, so we can just see how it goes. That cool with you? Yeah. Okay. We may not finish the trial, but we will start it. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma appears! What the fuck? Hello, hello, hello! He's multiplied, thank you for the they dono star there was multiple of them. Wrong! Nope, not multiplication. It just looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? <sighs> Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy, that's a tough crowd. You're not playing along. Along, along. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Okay, okay. And ready to go. Please board the play pain train uh, uh, elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. 
Okay then, shall we? <laughs> Please! H hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared! You can't run away anymore, hero! You're gonna pay for your sins! What the heck? I told you already, I didn't do it! For serious! Hmm... That reminds me... Did you ever find the other costume? Or the notes? <sighs> um, well, no, but... <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. Damn, she thought she got away with it. <laughs> hey. This isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first, then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to... I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Ifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. The one who killed Ifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Someone right here! I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, the doors closed on their own. And the steel box began to move. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we settled all this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. Making us do such cruel things to each other. Wah wah? Wah wah? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute! Hey, listen, I already know that NBC finna come for me, bro, but it was worth it. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. <sighs> Don't rush me! Of course I'm gonna start it! I would never be like, stay tuned for the action pass. Yahoo! I never hold out on you like that! Okay, let's begin! Get to your assigned seats! And so, the curtain opened once again. Hey man, we try to do our best to keep y'all immersed, man. We gotta spice it up. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. Does this nigga say this every time we have trial? A deadly riddle. A deadly defense, a deadly fate, a deadly flash trial. Bullets, bro. I'm ready. I think we figured this one out already. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the result. If you can figure out who done it, then I'll punish everyone. Now, then, we already know who did it. Was that? 
<laughs> was that? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it! You killed them! I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. Just, just real quick. Think about this, right? The note told him to go out of his room at 1 a.m., right? She went into his room and placed the evidence in his room. Mm -hmm. And then he fooled me, was the one that, you know, handled everything else. And that's why and he fell asleep or or vice versa. One of them stuck into his room and placed she the evidence in there. Running up and down floors. Yeah. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... This thing is too dumb to commit any like well thought out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Elaborate to be his as well. Is Hero really the killer, or before anything else, we have to make that clear. Everything we found in your room, the blueprints, the suit parts. They are all proof enough that you are the culprit. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! I mean, looking at the blueprints, that handwriting is awful messy. If I remember right, Hero's handwriting is... Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all... No, it's wrong! Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote. Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. Nobody's doing that. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he is not the only one. I think Hero's innocent oh, as well. Oh shit, let's go! Right, let's go, Biakia. Then who was in that robo-justice suit? Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The Were suspicious individual him? hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. And of course, he passes it off to me. So? Who was in the robo-justice suit? The suspicious individual? The one that must have been in the suit. A gun! Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit. And we never found any kind of second suit. But obviously, there's also... They're so dumb. He couldn't get out of the suit on his yeah, own. So somebody put him, somebody put him in the suit. And he That's couldn't bend his waist. Yeah. Then come. there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. What is this nigga? Why do you, why do you keep pinning everything? That doesn't make me? any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is that's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo Justice suit. What? Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. Somebody's defensive. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. 
so let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! All things have a proper order. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Things that were used to move Taka's body, they must have been... Do I have any specific things? Where's the, um... Did I pass it already? Oh, there it goes. I got it! There's still one more thing. In the tarp. I got it! They were a dolly and a tarp, right? Oh, I was wrong. So, let's see if I can explain. Oh no, I was right. body right. disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the doll. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Okay. Huh? Ma'am? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. Is it not possible that it was in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? Okay, I'm beginning to think that this nigga's the mole and just he's just there to instigate shit. There is no shame in being wrong. And nobody expects much from you anyway. We have all accepted the fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Wow, I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. But maybe I can change her mind. If I can just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. Oh god, a new element has been added to bullet time battles. Do you like to hear more? Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the bottom of the screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements. But from now on, just locking on and pressing the triangle button won't be enough to handle them. Now, it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements, no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload by pressing the square button. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm jumping into this early. You have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! Away with you! You miserable wretch! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst, you miserable wretch! You have it wrong! I cannot agree! You are a fool! So pathetic! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst, or when it's you! You miserable wretch! I cannot agree! You are a fool! Lies will get you nowhere! Do your worst! You miserable wretch! You miserable wretch! 
I cannot agree. This should prove it. If you're asking for proof that the dolly moved, I have it right here. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain on it. Oh! There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. <laughs> oh! Jeez, does Celeste really hate me that much? Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo-Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? I'm not sure that really matters. I'd be happy to explain why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. If I look at how the body was moved, it'll be clear why the person in the suit so couldn't have done bend. it. He couldn't bend. What does he mean by that? As we know, Taka was killed in the equipment room. And from there, the body was moved to the repository, correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in the tarp, then loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? Now, keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is bend over. No, it's wrong. You're absolutely right that you could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? She's so damn dumb. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. I'm like 90%, 95% sure we've saw right the about that? on our own before this trial. Now that you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing the dolly with your feet? You can't see her. Look at her, she's still trying to pin it on him. She's, she's going mad feet. hard. You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? In such a short amount of time? Yeah, it'd be totally impossible. Not that I can say for sure myself. On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? There's absolutely no chance that the costume was taken off to move body because... I got it! I don't think taking off the suit was an option. If you remember... Yeah, they put this nigga in a, a fucking tackle box. That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then... you really can't take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up? Uh, of course I wasn't making it up. If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. Yeah, that's right! So, it's really, really true that Robo-Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? You owe me an apology, or him an to apology. To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? Ma'am? Yeah, she had that yes, as her smoking gun. We all got a good look at it. But look. Did you not? Hifumi's holding of his arms. Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? That's the rec room. If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? It 
Wow, and he called it Robo Justice. He already he already had like a name for it and everything. That's why he's like, er, that's what I decided to call him just now. Yeah. He had already named he, it that. He named it that, and not to mention, how would he know that it was a guy in the suit? Yep. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. I'm so glad we get to get this this French, Castlevanian, Jamaican ass bitch out of here. Yeah. yeah, that's gotta be right. Hold on a second! It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did before we rush to a verdict. Shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps, but where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the Ooh, beginning. Let me snick it. Maybe we'll uncover something new. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. All right then. Let's take another look back at what happened. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall. Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up. So we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. And as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour because I remember being attacked a little after seven. Convenient since you're still at six. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko, and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office, When Celeste told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. This is so... Okay, this case isn't as good as this, the second one. And soon after that... Because the second one had us folded until, like, the very end. I saw someone moving around on the third floor, and I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. And then... At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office, while Sakura, Yakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi, dead. Or was he? And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. We must have found both bodies at almost exactly the same time, because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office, but right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us and she told us something very surprising. Th that nigga gone. We rushed back to the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. Who do you think did it? But when we got there, we discovered that now Taka's body had also gone missing. 
Next thing we knew, we were searching the school for two missing dead bodies, and after some time... Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository, which is where we rediscovered the corpses. And she opened... The only reason why she got in is because he Fumi opened the door because they were working together. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. Okay, well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Hmm. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them no matter what. So, regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before Hifumi, or perhaps it was after? We already know what order they were killed in! Taka, Taka came first. last! No. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after! Yep. I should have hit the other one. Yeah. So, regarding I wonder if or perhaps it was We already know what order the Wataka came last. No, not that one makes you say that. Because of the numbering of the justice. It's true that Hifumi was killed it's with sped up. while Taka's death. See? So it's Do you see that? Taka came okay. So, when I wonder if or perhaps it was We already know what order the Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. No, it was the one before. Oh, okay. Whoa, wait, wait, whoa. Why do I only have three hearts? So, when I wonder if or perhaps it was We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. Why did I do what that? What makes you say that? Because of the number. It's true oh, that he's while Christ. Taka's death. Take so it's obvious Taka came... I'm I'm selling so, right now. I wonder if he or perhaps it was We already know what order they were killed in. No. Shoot. Okay, no, I think I was So, regarding Taka's death. Bruh. I wonder if he died before he threw me. Or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. <laughs> Taka came last. What numbers. makes you say that? It's so weird. Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers! It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3, while Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? Were you supposed so to do that, that first and then shoot it to the numbering? Like, do that first on the order so, and then shoot it with Taka's the numbering? Death. Yeah. I wonder if he died before perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were- no, it's wrong. Okay, I forgot that, that that fucking remembering Hold on. should use an There's as a no bullet. reason to assume that the yeah, hammers we're gonna were get used clapped. in the same. If anything, that's just another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi? Okay then, let's see the proof. Evidence that proves Saka was killed before he fooled me. There's something that relates to what time you must have died. Just watch. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, Wrist watch. Broken when he was attacked by the. I have one heart left. It's over for me. 
So if it wasn't broken after six last night, then he must have been attacked around six this morning. And that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before yeah. Hifumi. And before Celeste was attacked this morning. Which, that's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Yep. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. Nope. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder. But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and Kyoko. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office. And that's where we found his body. That's totally true! We're all in the clear! Oh, I know! They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on! If that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. Don't just go making stuff up! This guy. Anyway, we all have rock-solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi, Hifumi going missing. Hifumi moved Taka's body. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time! Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then! Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Why not? Because, Sir? as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. Hmm. <laughs> so what now, Kyoko? <laughs> like it's... For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. No. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. No, let me just, can I just in say In particular, it? I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. Can That's just, true. But I know, we can I say We searched everywhere, it? but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. Can, can I say something? And according to what Please? Celeste said... And the washed off hammer is the one that was really used to kill Taka hours before. Mm. All the ones that they colored on were not any of the ones that they used to kill them. Good, I, I didn't even think about that. So the one that, the, the hammer they washed off, they killed Taka with that hours before. Then his his body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. That boy was spry. But to carry that much weight from the <laughs> first floor up to the third? Oh man, yeah! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Yeah, why don't you tell him, Makoto? What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. <gasps> the, the dead body m moved on its own? <laughs> no! Not another... <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. No I way! I think what she's implying is, we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality, he was still alive. Nani? He was... alive? Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, but simply walked out on his own? But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. That... It isn't possible. The idea that Hifumi was still alive. Is it really possible?
Oh, that's not the answer, so I'm gonna have to... Yeah, memory. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. That's what we're and that about. is why the announcement was made. Well, we need that Are we fact. really so sure about that? Did she not remember? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Yep, like you said, Tacos. Are okay. you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, the there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, yeah. it attacking. is impossible. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Which one? Surely you heard the body After discovery announcement, along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body yeah. had been found. Oh no. Ah! Shoot! Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive. No, it is impossible. He for me was dead, without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. So it's the very last. He for me's dead talking. body had been found. Not that one. And that yeah, that's is the why only the announcement. Are we real? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Okay, so we needed someone else's discovery. We need someone else's discovery to attack to attack the other thing. Shoot! And there you know one more time, bro. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah. You did it! <laughs> How did we end up with the main topic of discussion? No! Uh, 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 it was you! <laughs> and then <laughs> And then they vote Makoto. Like, bro. Thanks for the sub, Shani. It's... I refuse to give up yet. I don't... It was... I don't know. I think Makoto. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> We'd rather die <laughs> than hear you fumble. Okay. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually- No. So we Hifumi need the very last one to attack. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement of Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Shit. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. We need someone else's discovery yeah. to attack. Yeah. Are you saying that when we heard there's a chance you- No. Hifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body that Hifumi's dead, and that is- Are we real? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Are you saying that when we first there's a chance you- No. Hifumi was dead, and you know that how shortly you heard the body that Hifumi's dead body had been found. No! And that is why the announcement was made. Are we really? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. Are you saying that when we first there's a chance you- No. Hifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body that Hifumi's dead body had been found. There we go. No! Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Bro, jeez. Was the body discovery announcement that was made? Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Maybe. He knew what he but had. But that was triangle. also the same time that Taka's body was found. Button. Yeah, I always end up holding down triangle on accident, just out of just fucking muscle memory. That's right. Reason. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. Which we figured First out. First of all, we figured out the whole case. Let me. Found, 
There really should have been two announcements. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy bum. No, actually, that was plenty. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time. Which means... Thank you for the Dono NBA highlights. Thank you. Laugh this trial is too funny and obvious. Yeah, they made it super obvious. Even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Huh? Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement twice. The second body discovery announcement, the first time it played was when we found each body in the nurse's office in the equipment room. And the second time was when... It was when, when both, both bodies were yeah. rediscovered. I got it! We heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered the two bodies. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being discovered for the first time. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office, he wasn't actually dead yet. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came creative. upon him I in mean, the repository. And that's uh, just part know, of it. Yeah. It. it was a fun investigation. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. Oh, oh, oh I know, I know! Because he was super good at playing dead! Bada bing, bada boom! That is the worst logic I have ever heard. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Yeah, she's going okay, extra hard. Let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. This whole thing is pointless. The handkerchief. Yep. Yep. Well, here's one thing we do know. The first time we found Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before being moved and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned... Oh, get the fuck out of here! Shoot! Okay, I should have just listened. I'm to listening to the whole shit. one thing we do. The first time we saw him again, his body just... And the next time it was in. But when you compare his body before being... Other than the change in how it was positioned... There was no notable difference. Yeah, I just no, jumped the gun. No. Haha. -ha. In fact, there was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. His glasses. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in? Oh, and she's looking away. When we That's found her me in the nurse's office, his lying. glasses were covered with blood. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. I got it! It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? Get fucked. And whose digital camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. Get folded. The character was... Princess Piggles. 
from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Yeah, don't act like you don't know what it is. It's just I say it, I doubt anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point. And the only people here who wear glasses are... I wouldn't be caught dead using a tacky <laughs> piece of garbage like that. A few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Then there's no question. It belongs to Hifumi. Mmm. Mmm. So what you're saying is, what exactly? What I'm saying is, yeah, we really the about to lose three people. Glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. Yo, well, who would benefit from? Why a are they making it so obvious for her? Yeah, because she's not usually that defensive. She's the only one going That's ham. That's a good point. And it must have been him, right? So let's assume that Hifumi was still like alive. Like she's not in the agreeing with any of the irrefutable evidence you provide. Yeah. He pretends to be dead. And she is usually then when he's alone, he wipes like, his glasses well, clean so he can see. Why would they do that? Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible, wouldn't you say? But then, if he was just pretending to be dead. What was with all that blood? Was it the, um, the fake the, blood packet yeah, in the fridge? The fridge in the nurse's <laughs> office contains packs of blood for emergencies. He probably used one of those. It was real. He figured yeah, if he was gonna play dead, he should go all out. So he just dumped it everywhere. But he got crazy with it and had to wipe his glasses off when he was done. God, what an idiot! And if Kafumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily mm -hmm. explained. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. I got it! It could only have been Hifumi. While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked? Well, after the bodies disappeared, we all went looking for them, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. But when we got there, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. Which means, when Hina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And he was waiting on Celeste to do her secret knock. Yep. And it could only have been Hifumi, who just finished stashing Taka's yeah, body there. Him in there. He convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Hifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. But that means he took part in the murders. I just can't believe it. If you're having trouble, would you like me to show you one more piece of evidence? There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The item he took off of Taka's lifeless the body? talking about the note Hifumi had hidden away, aren't you? Uh, hidden note? That's right. We found it stuffed in his pants. Damn. What? <laughs> in his pants? Mm. Yes, his pants. Okay, well, forget about the pants for now. Take a look at what the note said. Found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. That's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Huh? Wait, this one's a little different. In my note it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. See, then this note isn't the same one Hero got. It's not the same? In other words, the killer got in touch with another person besides Hiro. And that person could only have been... I got it! That's right! Taka! The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Hello! Over here! Objection! Objection! I don't really understand what's going on, but Hifumi had that letter, right? So whoever wrote it wasn't drawing out TikTok, they were drawing oh, out Puffy! Um... Just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Huffy is Come Hifumi. Come on. Oh, yes! 
Why must you ruin it every time? Oh, shit. The ripped piece of paper. Welcome to the Queen. Yeah, it's none of these. Puppy has a note, right? Then the person it was intended for must have been happy. But remember what the note said. What time did it say to me? 6 a.m., I believe. The time doesn't matter. The note has nothing to do with TikTok. <laughs> No, it's wrong. No, there absolutely is a connection. What? what the hell are you talking about? The note said to meet at 6 a.m., which is the same time Taka was murdered. You've already proven that using his wristwatch. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Which is where Taka was killed. I see. So. Taka was murdered at both the time and place written in the note. I think that should be plenty to show that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Plus the red piece of paper. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that. Let's bring that up, please. <laughs> then someone used that note to trick Taka. Just the same as me. I wonder who that the culprit could really be. is a cold blooded monster. Telling people they found a way out. But if they gave the note to Taka. What was Hifumi doing with it? Took down his pants, no less! Most likely. Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Huh? Yes, he stole it? Motors. Here's your proof. Go ahead, show us. Yeah, we going through all... Yeah. I got it! When I searched Taka's body, I saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap of paper. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from, I knew it! It fits perfectly with the note we found hidden on Hifumi! Then Taka's scrap and Hifumi's note... Yup, they're from the same piece of paper. Hifumi had the note meant for Taka, while Taka's corpse still grasped a small piece of that note. There's only one way to explain it. Taka died clutching the note. Ifumi tried to free the note from his death grip, leaving behind only one small scrap. Did I get all that right? That means Ifumi knew the note was important. Exactly. Which proves that he was an accomplice in the murder. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. After seeing all this, Ifumi was super involved in this whole thing for sure. In fact, he was behind the whole thing. In fact... He's still alive! Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're Sorry. an idiot. No. <clears throat> when we found him in the repository, Hifumi was truly and completely dead. The second body discovery announcement proves that. So then, who killed Hifumi? Whoever did is the mastermind, the true killer. Bro, they're all operating on one brain cell. He was so. killed in the repository. So he must have been killed not long after transporting Taka's body. So he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished, but before we found both bodies in the repository. During that time, we'd all split up and were searching for Taka's missing body. In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. Wait, but me and Sabra were together. Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you stupid walrus! Who are you calling a walrus? Anyway, when they were killed bothers me too. But there's something that's been bothering me even more. And what might that be? The weapon they used to kill Hifumi. The weapon? Yeah, because I mean, according to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. But Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? It was the one that she washed off. Mm -hmm. So if Hifumi was killed in the repository, the culprit would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill Hifumi, put it back. then put the hammer back where they found it. But wouldn't that be seriously risky for him? I'm surprised. It seems there's some semblance right? of a brain knocking around that skull of yours after all. Hell yeah, it's packed in there good and tight. <laughs> He's right though. 
I don't understand it either. The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. But if the hammers were already laying around those other rooms... So the question is, how could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? Personally, I haven't a clue. So which hammer was used to attack Celeste? Number one or number two? Those were accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um... Then... Uh... Come on. Is it not possible they used a different weapon? I don't think it is possible. They were both killed with the same kind of thing, right? Bro, Monokuma is like crying on the inside. Listening so to then, <laughs> what was used to kill Hifumi? The whole picture surrounding this case won't become clear until we figure that out. What was used to kill Hifumi? Was it Justice Hammer 3? Maybe Justice Hammer 4? Well, whatever it was, there's one thing we have to figure out. How was the culprit able to move around so freely with the weapon? How did nobody witness them carrying it? Sounds like a Justice Hammer 5 is about to make its appearance! Shoot! Didn't I say I was gonna wait for him to what finish talking? What was used to kill? Was it just maybe just as well? There's one. How was the culprit? First one. How did nobody? It is the first one. I'm just double checking. Hammer Five is about to check out MurderGear.com/slash/HammerTime for more info. Yeah. yeah. Well, one thing seems. Is that a real clear. website? The murder weapon had to be one of the Justice Hammers. No, it's wrong. The murder weapon wasn't a Justice Hammer at all. No, it was something completely different. But seriously, a different weapon? Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that to kill Hifumi. Now, all the hammers in the repository were covered in flecks of grit and debris. But for some reason, one of them had been scrubbed clean. Huh? And the reason it had been scrubbed clean was most likely because it was used to commit murder. If the hammer got covered in Hifumi's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. I'd also like to point out that the repository has all kinds of hammers. Big ones, small ones, and even some flat mallet-like ones. I think whoever made the Justice Hammers used those as a basis for their design. If that's true, that would explain the Monokuma file's note about the wounds being similar. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository, where someone then used a hammer to kill him. Whoever did that is the true killer. The one Hifumi was working with. And the one who betrayed him. Hold on a moment. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. The way the graduation rule works, there is no benefit to helping someone Unless else. Unless you're gonna give him the yams. So the idea that anyone would work together like that is simply ludicrous. He had we no talked other about this, did we not? The laptop was missing. He was depressed. So he probably gave his life for her to get out. He's like, hey, I'll take your virginity. Yeah. Hey, remember, buddy was like, hey, I think you're already infected. He was like, whatever, I can die in peace. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That is how the rule was explained to us. But that only really applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, only the one who actually carried out the act, assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. That is how the rule was explained. But that only really yeah. applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Fucking. Based on the rules that even I'm not going to lose a heart over this shit. Assuming the rule holds true, 
that is. But that only really up in this case, however, there were two murders. Based on the rule, even if more than one, only the one who actually assuming the rule is no is wrong. Since there were two murders, it's at least plausible that more than one person was involved. A duel. What do you mean? If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice isn't really worth considering. Naturally, if only one person can be saved per murder, an accomplice has no risk versus reward benefit. Risk versus reward benefit? The payoff for working together. The reward that balances out the risk of taking part in the scheme. There's no point in being someone's accomplice if there's no benefit to you. However, if there were some potential mutual reward for the risk, then the cooperation becomes possible. You're saying that two people could act as each other's accomplices to commit two separate murders. Mm, so maybe she told him that she would probably kill um... somebody else. I think that's what the true killer told Hifumi. They would each have an accomplice for their crime. And like based on the case's kill, event, she Hero? Him, she would Hero would have been the first one to up, act, man. murdering Taka. They made him carry out the first murder so he couldn't back out of helping them later on. So in this case, there wasn't one single person committing multiple murders. Instead, each person killed someone, creating two separate incidents. And it only looked like one person because that's how the true killer designed it to look. A single suspicious individual a similar weapon used in each crime, disappearing bodies. By creating one seamless set of circumstances, they made it look like one person was behind it all. The mastermind picked their target and managed to convince him to go along with their plan. And then to avoid the no accomplices rule, they simply killed their accomplice. Which, if true, means that betraying Hifumi was part of a clan from the very beginning. That's just... Awful! How could anyone be so cruel? You think so? I can't help but admire its cunning. Still, their choice of accomplice seems... Ah. Uh... We needed a... Um... Yeah. <laughs> the word that shall not be spoken. I understand how an accomplice yeah. could be involved. But then, who was the one pulling Hifumi's string? That's problem numero uno right now! Can I, can I tell you guys? Here's my answer! Thank you. It was Let's fold this bitch. Ah, uh, so I'm the suspicious individual now, am I? I really do hate this kind of joke. A joke? I wonder. So what you are saying, then, is that I specifically chose to work together with Hifumi. The idea that I would choose to spend any amount of time interacting with him, that I would go within 10 feet of that shit from brains, that lazy, worthless, goddamn Oh, idiot. they got an accent. It's gone. Uh, uh, ah, uh, pardonne-moi. Oh, she is French. Yeah, she's French. Okay. Just to be clear, the French there accent is I mean. evidence to support it. Is that so? It is. Throughout the investigation, there was certain behavior that was common only to the two of you. Considering what we've learned so far, it only further proves that the two of you were working together. I got it! The behavior they had in common has to do with the suspicious individual in the suit. Doesn't it? The only ones who ever actually saw Robo Justice firsthand were Celeste and Hifumi. Shush, the adults are talking now. Oh my god. Alright, bro, handle it. Sorry. Yes, As he sorry? said, only Celeste and Hifumi ever laid eyes on the costumed individual. If we accept that Hifumi was one of the culprits, we can't help but suspect what Celeste has said as well. Are you saying? Everything they told us was a lie? After taking Hifumi to the nurse's office, we all began our search for this individual, correct? And not too long after that, do you remember what Celeste said? We headed to the second floor specifically because of what she claimed to have seen. Oh, uh, look at her face now. Next, to draw I love how whenever they get caught, lab, they start looking the crazy. Floor, 
she let out a blood-curdling scream. And when we'd all come to see what was wrong, what was it she said? Once she'd done her job of getting us all up to the physics lab, it was time for her partner to get to work. That loud crash from the third floor down to the first floor? He must have been on it like thrashing and throwing everything to around. divide into two groups. So that we would discover both bodies at the same time? In fact, Celeste was precisely the one who proposed that we split up. Yeah, she was. Well, if Celeste and Hifumi were working together, all those chance events suddenly become connected. And on top of that, that piercing cry of yours early on. <laughs> that was to signal Hifumi, wasn't it? Wow, that I didn't put together. It was your way of telling him, we're on the third floor. Everything's going according to plan. Why else would you let out a scream that could have carried across the sea? Damn, the sea? I just realized another strange Damn, thing. Damn, she don't got nothing to say when now, When we found huh? Hifumi in the nurse's office, who we now know was only pretending to be dead. Celeste. You were the first one to say he'd been murdered. You wanted to make sure we wouldn't have any doubt in our minds. I, I don't believe it. Everything. Thank you for the dono, Cody. The love you guys. My favorite reaction act. and gameplay channel by far. Thank, Thank you. you. That's we love. love. You, too. We Hina, the love you were with Celeste when Hifumi's body disappeared, right? Yeah. I was feeling kind of sick, so Celeste took me to the bathroom. She had bubble guts. <laughs> Wait. Then that was... She wasn't worried about you. She just saw a chance to help Hifumi sneak out of the nurse's office. Yep. Each piece isn't much by itself, but start putting them together and the picture gets very ugly indeed. Wouldn't you agree, Celeste? I have no idea what you mean. Don't bother trying to deny it. You made one fatal mistake. Oh, did I? I didn't even catch it myself when you first said it, but looking back, I can say that that one little slip-up was your undoing. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you said after Hifumi's body disappeared and we uh -huh. returned to the nurse's office. Oh. Then, in indicating more than one person, they always put like a teeny weeny little hint in there. Just like those guys died. I remember her saying that too, but I don't understand what's so strange about it. Then pay attention. Sakura, Toko, and I were first to discover Taka's body in the equipment room. Then Makoto showed up and told us Hifumi had been killed. So Sakura and I left with Makoto. Once we were in the hall, we ran into Celeste, and the four of us headed to the nurse's office. Now, the entire time we were together, no oh, one said anything okay. about Taka being dead. Think about it. Celeste's comment doesn't make sense. It was completely out of place. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Although I don't really get what it means. You hear that, Celeste? Everyone's having some trouble understanding. Could you repeat what you said? If you're really not the culprit, you shouldn't have any problem repeating it, right? He just said what he was alluding to. I'm confused. Oh, God. All I said was... They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. They must be positively elated. We are all going to die here. We are going to die, just like those guys died. And that is all I said. And that's all it takes to finish this. It's obvious, isn't it, what was so strange about Celeste's comment? 
Okay. I think we need the close strength Shoot. for those guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah,
think I'm not so sure that was a mistake. I think the suit was designed from the beginning to be used the way it was. Celeste and Hifumi took the suit they'd specially designed and stuffed Hiro into it. That's how they were able to fake that whole thing. The point of it all was to make us believe whoever was in the suit was to blame. <laughs> well then, I suppose this is checkmate. Checkmate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you idiot! What do you mean, checkmate? Celeste? Clearly! You want to cram me into your little guilty box? Well, there's one <laughs> little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi the told accent us going in and out? Dying? When we asked him who had attacked him, he said, and I quote, In other words, we know why. Yasuhiro Hatakure! Right, but my name isn't really Yasuhiro. It's actually Taro. <laughs> Your confusing statements yeah. don't make any sense. You're only making things more complicated. He did say Yasuhiro, but are we sure he was really pointing the finger at Hiro? What the hell are you talking about? I'll burn you alive! Kyoko, Damn, she's going nuts. What do you mean by that? Think back to how Hifumi used to talk to us. How did he refer to each of us? Damn. That's a good one. I think last names. Yeah, for Sirius is just a hero. That's right. Or exactly. I know I heard him say Mr. Mr. Nayagi more than once. Can you have one of those terrible gummies over there, please? So if Hifumi did mean to say hero's name, he would have said his last name, Hagakure. I'm sure it was just incidental. By chance, he just his first name. Indecent. Don't talk. <laughs> Random chance. Now isn't that a convenient explanation? No. There's no reason to think he would have said the name any different than normal. But he must have run out of energy before he could say any more. So Hifumi was trying to tell us the last name of whoever killed him? But the name he said doesn't apply to anyone here. Well, no. Hold on. There's one person it could apply to, yeah. and that's Celeste. She never actually told us what her real name is. <laughs> what did you just say? What did you say, nigga? To think you'd take your false accusation so far, I don't know whether to laugh or spit. Come on! Enough with your idiotic blather. Yasuhiro is a loser's name. Do I look like a loser to you? Well, do I? What? I think I've earned the right to be a little on edge. Okay, then fill us in. What's your real name? Make sure your ear holes are wide open and listen up! My real name? Is Celestia Ludenberg. Could you please stop making me repeat myself over and over again? I have to do the. Oh, wait. Are we gonna do the whole rhythm battle shit? No. Oh. We just gotta shoot her down again. E handbook. Because they said it'll if come Fumi in. Handy. was trying to tell us something, he wanted us to know the killer's last name. Yasuhiro. If there's one person here who might have that last name... It would have to be you, Celeste. You haven't told anyone what your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is... Celestia Lodenberg, God damn it! Man. How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way to contradict me, yeah, no, uh, it's wrong. I'm actually beginning to like them. That's it. Th what? Anytime you turn your handbook on, it shows the owner's name when it boots up, right? Monokuma told us all about it before. Boot up your handbook. What's up? So 
So Something all we out. have to do is check her hand. That's how we can find out Celeste's real... That, that's an invasion of privacy. I, I refuse to cooperate. Celeste, can you please just tell us what really happened? Please, just tell us. Even when I'm put in check, it's just my nature not to give up. Because, 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 because! Until the game's over, you never know what might happen! Ma'am? Fine then. Let it's me late. settle in. I want to go to bed. Can you hurry Let up? Let me go over the case again, from the beginning, and shed light on all your crimes. And that'll bring everything to an end. Is it time? There we go. There we go. Oh. On the panels. <laughs> so they lured uh What is this? Nigga, what? Okay, this is mad conf So is it that one? Is oh, so yeah, because he's sitting there facing her. So I think it's that one. That's so... Hang on. Wait, no. Okay, I, this one, this is so weird. This one's this a little bit more complicated. All right, so then he gets there. They put him in the suit. So does that one go over hang there? Hang on, no, hang on. Thanks for the dono, Nicholas. Love watching guys play games. Keep the positive vibes up. Thank you so much. We love you too. Thanks for the support. Damn, which one killed him? Was it four or three? It was four. It was four. A bag of chips. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, he moved the body at that point, right? Or not yet. Real quick. The book bag came into play at some point because of the blueprints. The blueprints weren't in the book bag. He used the watch already. No, that was a clock. Oh, it was a that different. was a different time. Was a different that was time. 1 a.m. Okay. Um,
Oh no. That's three. That's over there. What's that? That orange thing. Is this the blood packet? No, what the fuck? I think that's the handkerchief. That's okay, all. this is him moving the dolly. Yes. This is so, this one is so jank. They said you can press the question on the circles if, if we need further clarification on what it actually is. Well, moving the body, there's one right there. What is that? What right is there. that? Okay, that's him taking the picture. And then go over. And then this after way? that, they planted the No, evidence. this is when this is when um Celeste was showing him the camera. Yeah, then he took the picture. This is the library. Is that when he planted the evidence? Because he's right there in front of uh Top Toko and and they, were, and they were like, oh, we saw the blueprints already. So is that when he had the book bag? And he's sweating? I don't know. I'm gonna just, hang on. I don't trust it. I'm gonna go through it one more time. Okay, yeah. Justice Hammer 4 was the one for Kiyotaka. Yes, because I remember they made and it. It's like literally in the, last. And it's literally in the picture. Okay, yeah, this is this because of the red background. Okay, they're plotting. Act two, it's 1 a.m. Hey, Kiyotaka, what's up? Huh? I don't know, man. <gasps> yeah, they put, they him, put in him in the suit. suit. Hey, let's take this picture. picture. Okay. And then now it's, and now act it's three. six. It's, yeah. Yep. Taka. Mink. Bloody they hammer. Use this is what I don't know about. And I don't know what this glass sure. thing is. I think they mixed in like older images. They yeah. They did, the poster. Like what is it? What do those chips have to do with anything? I, I don't know. I mean, I guess we can just see and then if it's wrong, we can always switch it. Cause it'll stop where it's incorrect. I know all oh, that's right. The killer is right, let's try it. you! Before anything, the killer persuaded someone to help carry out the murder. And that person was... Kifumi. With an accomplice, the killer was able to execute a number of otherwise impossible schemes. Okay. First, they convinced someone to meet them in the rec room last night at one in the morning. Damn. That someone <laughs> they met with was Hiro. The okay, murderous so duo far. intended to pass Hiro off as the prime suspect. So when they met up with him, they drugged him, knocked him out, and stuffed him into the Robo Justice suit. I can't have pulled his body. Next, Good Lord. Kifumi positioned himself to make it look like Robo Justice was attacking them, while the killer used a digital camera to take pictures of the assault. They did all this just to create evidence that would put the suspicion on Hero. When they were done with him, they shoved him, still unconscious, into the pool room locker. And then finally, at 6 a.m., they moved into the murder phase of their plan. They called Taka to the equipment room. Damn it, Fumi. And that's where Hifumi killed him, making it the scene of the first murder. The murder weapon was Justice Hammer 4, 
which was left there in the equipment room. The reason hammer number four was used was to create confusion about the order of the crimes. Up oh, so, and now I don't know about this. Next, they falsified two this more assault incidents. For these attacks, the killers pretended to be the victims to solidify Robo Justice as the suspect. The first fake incident was the attack in the wreck room. There, the killers wanted us to see Justice Hammer 1 and the Robo Justice pictures they'd taken. They wanted to make sure we bought the surprise attack store. The second fake incident was the attack in the library. This time, they planted Justice Hammer 2 and an injured Yifumi to sell us that store. With these two incidents, the killers were able to create a certain preconception in our mind that Get the suspect it. was increasing the size of the hammers and attacking people in order as they did. The we fell right into their trap and started looking for the suspect based on that. But... Yeah. Bro, so it's not So that's that. a hammer. No. Oh, I gotta go to the nurse's office. I got beat up. What is that? Oops. Two. It's hammer two. That's what it is. <clears throat> but I don't know. What the hell? That's so weird, bro. It's hammer two. Because he just literally said it when he was going over the case. To Here's set the, exactly the, the, what the happened. Preconception. So, for these attacks, the first fake incident there, the, they wanted to make sure we the second fake it. This time, they planned to jump with okay. these two ins that the suspect was increasing. We fell right into. <laughs> While we did that. We left Hifumi alone in the nurse's office. This was exactly what Hifumi was hoping for. He <laughs> took a blood packet from the refrigerator and Justice Hammer 3 and turned the room into a crime scene. In the which spinning. he himself... He let out a scream to draw us back. And when we returned, that's what we found. I was thinking small Meanwhile... Breath. The other group that had been out searching right? found you seen his big ass body at the same breathing. time. So when we heard the body discovery announcement, we naturally assumed it was for Hifumi. We left the nurse's office, and Hifumi once again took advantage of the situation. He simply got up and made his escape. When we learned his body had disappeared, we all rushed back to the nurse's office. And once again, Hifumi had the chance he was waiting for. This time, he snuck into the equipment room. He wrapped Taka's body in a tarp and used the dolly to move it all the way down to the repository. That explains how each of the bodies disappeared. But he Ming working. Fumi didn't know what the he true killer had in mind yeah. for their plan. And he got his ass back. That's what happened. Their plan all along was to kill Hifumi and get rid of the one person who could betray them. And they did it using an ordinary, everyday hammer from the repository. That should cover everything that happened in this case. And the villain behind it all is... What the hell? Sorry, you lose. I lost? I lost? When was the last time I was forced to utter such words? They hang heavy around my neck. Oh, you can drop the accent. Then it's you over admit for you. it? You're the killer? <laughs> Listen to you trying to take charge as if you're my private instructor. Yeah. I, Celestia Ludenberg. Actually, no, Taiko Yasuhiro is fine. Taiko? So, you finally accepted it. This L? I'm the kind of person, once I've lost, I don't like things to drag on. Interesting. Taiko Yasuhiro. Damn.
Okay, Monokuma. I'm ready to begin. Or, no. I suppose this is the end, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. What? It is indeed the moment oh, okay. we've all been waiting for. Time to vote. Okay? Okay. If you would, please locate your lever and cast your vote. And when the votes are tallied, who will become the blackened? Ooh, will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Damn, at least she didn't have no sad backstory. She was like, alright, it's time for me to die. Yep. Let's go. I've dragged this on long enough. I'm sorry. Just take me out. It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct! The black in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinking scheme was... Ta-da! Celestia Ludenberg! Or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro! Honestly. I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake. You don't have to do all. that no more. She dropped it. She lost. She does both. No, but she dropped it because it's over. If Fumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Hifumi with this plan. But how did you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. Hmm. I'm sure she relied on her specialty, lying. <laughs> My specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. So then. Then did you use, you know. The WAP? <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out, Kyoka. The laptop. You're absolutely right. To get me to act as my accomplice. Indeed. I used her. For everyone who's still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name. Oh, that's but cool. It was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both super into. That's going to make Monokuma super suspicious, though. Mm-hmm. Does she mean... She talking about alter ego? Say what? 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 What are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I'm totally out of the loop, as usual. How sad. In other words. Then you're the one that stole it. Indeed. That's right. I see. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you've come up with? <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um... Oh, um, what are we... what are you doing here? Actually... I was hoping I could talk to you, alone. It is about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. <laughs> what? So then... And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found a, a use for the digital camera. I'd taken you-know-what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. Lock your room door. I deleted the picture as soon as I'd shown it to Hifumi, of course. D damnation! <sighs> so it was him! But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if either of us got close to her. <sighs> You are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? What? As for me... Please forgive me. He... he threatened me. Oh, um... He... he, he did? As for me... He came to my room last night unannounced, and then it's hard for me to even say... Oh my god. He abused me. Twerk! I do not fuck with this at all. What? And he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I, I had no choice. And this guy died believing that. Damnation! That's a crime! An absolute crime! He, I mean, I knew he 
got a little crazy, but... Say what? I never imagined he would... would go that far. <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to... Oh, sure, not cursing. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Most unfortunate. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Hmm? Hmm? Actually, Taka is planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. What? Escape? You don't mean. <sighs> Taka is going to try to kill you. What? Indeed. And also, he can keep her to himself. <laughs> this that bastard! Is unforgivable! Completely unforgivable! <laughs> buster, 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 buster! Honestly. Then we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts. <laughs> Absolutely not! How could I? She... I swear, I, I will save her. save her! Actually... Then would you like to join with me? It just so happens I have come up with a plan. Huh? This nigga. <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, nothing. <laughs> if Fumi agreed without a second thought, <laughs> the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even when love is twisted as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um. You disgust me. Thanks for that, I God. see. Grumpious. I have another question for you. Was that strange costume in Fumi's creation? Indeed. Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So, why'd you decide to make me the suspect? Thanks for the subtype, <sighs> Taka. Because you're stupid. Huh? That's it? Let's see... And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity sur surpassed my every expectation. <coughs> <laughs> Life must have been tough on your parents, though. I feel like I could cry. Well. But when you were explaining your plan to Fumi, how did you explain the part about him playing dead? <laughs> what she's asking is, what was Fumi supposed to do after that? Assuming you had actually let him live. Are you okay with this? That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead, when someone showed up, I told him to say he'd been seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. Hmm. And he really believed that? <laughs> well, of course, that wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Fumi, the plan was, while you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, if Fumi would have an alibi so nobody would, could doubt him, I told him that, and he believed it. Hmm. It all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lies to the level of the opponent. In fact, Fumi ate it up. He believed the lie wholeheartedly, right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... So you had planned to kill him all along. <laughs> but of course. There would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How can human life mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! Now you sound like Biakia. I wonder about that. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Why? Then, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really? Just for money? Hmm... Are you talking about the 10 million dollars Matakuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it's true. 
But that's not the, all there is to it. From the moment our new life began, life here began, my only thought has been escape. But... But how long have you been saying how we have to... But all along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. You little bitch! Obviously that was a lie. <laughs> hey! I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. You little bitch! I wanted to get out! Every day was fresh torture! And do you want to know why, huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing but less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was this dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. Uh, the castle? <laughs> And to gather handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguards. I was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Once I had seen that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. Okay, good. Let's kill this bitch. This is fine. Living the rest of my life, it was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... Thank you for the dono, Voodoo. R.I.P. my boy Taka, the ultimate moral compass. Shh, SMA. There is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream has got it to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but... You were really able to kill your own friends for it? Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> My ability to lie is unrivaled and I take pride in that. Oh, so she really is freaking out. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. And that's why you're not scared? Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear death. Tell me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated... Thanks for the dono, Cody. You know, no. actually, now that she reveals her motivations, Celeste was justified. I, too, want vampire boyfriend servant. <laughs> hey, listen, y'all can have that. I read that. If I had a choice, then... Isn't it wonderful? I think I would like to come back as Marie Antoinette. Hey! You just get executed again. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste smiled then, and when she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. Kills! 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 You all done? Okay, then let's get rolling. The what? bucket deserves the keys and must pay the price. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment for her, the ultimate gambler. He was a crusher with a, di a giant pair of dice. Let's give it up. It's, it's punishment time! I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. What? This is... Oh, that's where the laptop is. The laptop that she put Will it in. really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. <clears throat> well then... Take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again. In another life. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> said sleep comes <laughs> sleep comes i just gotta mute it <clears throat> what is this oh there goes there goes her castle there goes the castle she wanted 
This is not quite the one she was expecting. The burning of the Versailles witch? Oof. Egg, you can't make it quick? I would have rather gone all the way jungle. That was fast for her. I would have rent Mondo. Yeah, or Mondo. Because right now her and Leon got it the worst. Oh my god. Yeah? Oh, is she sweating? You hot? Damn. And she's smiling through it all. Yeah, it's muted on purpose. Because I'm not trying to get claimed. Oh, Truckoon! Truckoon! <laughs> Stop! Jeez. Truckoon made an appearance? Is it? Is this not like the third? It's over. The third execution is over. Celeste's death is over. <sighs> Celeste killed my friend, so I can't pity her. But I also can't deny that at one point I considered her a friend too. And for him to just come along and... just awful someone couldn't cut free of their regrets from the outside world and so more people and so more people had to die extreme you guys are so young you need yeah. to place more value on your lives <laughs> yeah truck hoon truck hoon donated five dollars oh my god <clears throat> what are you gonna do Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Let me out of here! What do I care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash if you just let me out of here. Too bad! You're all the embodiment of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is. But that reality just can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How long are you gonna make us keep going through this? What do you want from us? <laughs> oh, whoops. How strange. God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Hmm. So anyway, Kyoko, did I see you get some kind of key type object from Celeste? Hey, hey! So uh, what's the deal with that? Wawa? Huh? What's the matter? So then... I'll answer your question if you answer mine. You. What did you do? What did you do to me? Ooh. What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? Ooh, how exciting. Oh man, oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez. What do you mean, what did I do? I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Uh, um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body. What does that mean? Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I got out of here. Well, meanwhile. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later. <laughs> See ya. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although it wasn't all despair, there was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko, Monokuma already mentioned it, but what's that key that Celeste gave you? So, most likely, it's a key to one of the dressing room lockers. What? Then that means... Hmm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey! 
I suppose sometimes it's easiest to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, we'd better go check. Indeed. Good idea. Okay. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, Hey, I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else heads to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? Why exactly are you going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? Thanks for the dono NBA highlights. Didn't think you'd do the whole case solve the stream. Case love the stream. Case love the stream. Thank you. Thank you for thank being you. here. We didn't think we'd do the whole thing either. As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still a risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go too. What? You? Please, let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. <laughs> Do whatever you want. He's probably Thank the you, spy because he keeps pushing, pushing the spy issue. Well, then. Then it's up to you now. Yo! I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. I tried to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko there alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. So then, we need to get into that locker. Kyoko took the key Celeste had given her and unlocked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we saw... You really came! Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe. Thank goodness. I'd never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word. I stayed quiet the entire time. So? Oh, and... I think I may be able to open up a lot set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. Uh. I'm doing my best, so please wait just a little while longer. <laughs> so, now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure. But can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want to be on I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me. What are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? You. Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However, regardless, that's not something you need to know right now. I don't need to know. That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that. Indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm the mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I... I believe in you. What? You believe in me? Isn't it obvious? People believe in their friends, right? That's why I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then... That's fine. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... Oh, oh damn. I thought I was going to find a stopping spot. Oh, okay. What I heard from Kyoko then was... Well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believe in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when it did, I went into action. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Shit. The boy's bathroom on the second the boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet there. Way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but... Thanks could for the Kyoko gifted really sub, Shani. about this? Okay. Yep, we'll stop there. 
Nigga, damn. This long ass chapter, bro. Good lord. Yeah, that was that was a long chapter. Let me just double check. Let me just <laughs> so double said, I just finished the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm both fucking tired, bro. I just want to go to sleep. It's 3 a.m. Yes. I need to sleep, bro. Okay, that was good. Um, I thought that that case was was um some mid. It started off strong, and then like before we even hit trial, like 30 minutes before trial, we figured out the whole thing. And then we had to sit through the whole case, and then we weren't. I like it better when like you thought you figured it out, and then during the trial, you're like, oh, whoa, wait, I did not realize that. Um, but this one, like, since we knew the whole time, I was like, damn, I wish it was a skip button. That way I could just jump to the end and accuse her. But yeah. overall, I get it. It was creative. I like what they tried to do. They just made Celeste way too obvious. She was the only person refuting evidence the whole, like, literally the whole time. She, all the irrefutable evidence, she was just like, mm, nah, nah, there's no way. Nope, I'm not buying it. No way. Like, they just made it super duper obvious. Um, but... Uh, it's a filler case. Okay, the next the next trials are cooling. The next case is gonna be better. It will be more difficult and emotional. Okay, I'm with it. All right, but that is going to be it for tonight's stream, folks. Thank you to everybody who came, donated memberships, yes, donated thank you subs, so much for all the love hung out. Support. Thank you for sticking around with us. We really appreciate the it. good vibes, hanging out with us at 3 a.m. We appreciate it. Yes. All right, but that is going to be it for tonight's stream, y'all. We hope you guys have a fantastic night. And we will catch you guys in the next one. So Peace. good night, y'all.